Uh, I'm Antti Asikainen from Luke, Finland. I'm the head of the Boreal Green Bioeconomy program in our institute. Today I was talking about the possibilities of uh, small-scale bioenergy systems in Argentina as well as uh, using of digital digitalization and solutions based on big data to uh, improve the efficiency of uh, biomass supply chains. Uh, there are different scales of investments uh, to improve the competitiveness of bio-based industries and I selected those where uh, you could call as uh, low-hanging fruits. First, you can uh, improve the existing supply systems by planning better your operations, for instance, predicting very precisely what kind of weather is going to be in the areas which you are going to harvest, and also uh, uh, the road sections, in what kind of condition they are, uh, depending on the weather, weather uh, that has been there during the previous weeks. And simply by doing so, you can greatly improve the, uh, not only the efficiency of the supply of the wood, but you can uh, uh, drastically uh, reduce the adverse impacts of wood harvesting on soil and subsequently to the run of waters that are going to the um, watersheds. Then I was talking about really small scale developments in uh, um, bio-based sector, the good old bio, bio energy. Uh, in the areas where there is a cold climate, um, abundance of uh, biomass to be used as a fuel, uh, bioenergy is really a good uh, possibility. And right now, uh, for Argentina in particular, I think that uh, it's the momentum for bioenergy simply because the um, uh, imported fuel, uh, fuels and their prices, they have been increasing and uh, you could rely on your uh, great um, forest and wood-based resources to replace fossil fuels and also uh, generate a local income based on these domestic sources. And finally, I really strongly recommend it that you, you should go for uh, local and regional um, roadmaps uh, because regions in Argentina are, are very different uh, um, from the bioeconomy perspective, so you need region-specific roadmaps, roadmaps for the future of bioeconomy.